name's Greg Polsky. I wanted to give you guys a quick tip on how to take the twist out of a, a board using a jointer. So, sounds like the jointer should do the job, no problem. But if you're not careful, you can end up wasting away your whole board and getting a wanky end result and cutting away way more materially than you thought like I did on this piece. It's super thin on this side. It's thick on this side. It's not consistent. I don't even know if this one's flat. Yeah, this one's not even flat. Still after cutting all that. So I want to show you how to avoid doing that. Uh, here's one that I did. It was pretty twisted in the beginning and now it's a nice solid flat surface on this to take this to the joiner and end up with a nice board. So I have this one here. It's rough sawn lumber. Um, you'll find the twist in pretty much any board. You, whether it's a S4S board or rough sawn lumber, um, you can have a twist in them. So there's a twist on here. This is a rough sawn piece. I've just joined one edge and Cut the width on the bandsaw on this one, but there's still a twist in here. So the key is to not use a lot of pressure on the jointer and register off the outfeed table. So you got the in feed table and the outfeed table. The in feed's a little bit lower. I have mine set to 132nd of an inch, so I'm not taking off too much material. Um, so things don't get away from it too quickly. Just take a few more passes. But the key is not a lot of pressure and register. You always want to be registering off the outfeed tape. So that you could have your board hovering in space on the infeed table when you get towards the end. But that's okay because as long as you are always registering off the outfeed table, it should come out. And the other key thing is not a lot of pressure. You don't want to be pushing on the board and twisting it as it's going through because that's going to affect your end result. So I'll usually just use uh, a push pad and then this one I made it has got a little uh, thing on the end here, I don't know, whatever you want to call that, which um, I can hook on the end of the board and push it through without pushing a lot of pressure down. If you're using two push pads, which they give you with the joiner, you're registering off the outfeed table here, then eventually you're running, you're going to run out of reach uh, with your left hand. So then you switch to pressure on your back hand and it twists the board to keep pushing because you need to put down pressure to feed the board through the joiner. So if you can see the board move when I apply pressure to the rear, okay, I'll apply pressure and it twists up. And that, doing that will continue to keep the twist in the board because you're not keeping it registered off the outfeed table. So pressure to the rear and it twists the board. If you keep your, if you continue to keep pressure down on the front, you're just going to bend the board and it's not going to help you take the twist out. So by using this finger, I'm able to keep the board moving forward and then sliding the front pad along at the same time keeping it registered and moving through without switching the pressure to the rear. It doesn't cause the board to move. So we're gonna do light passes, not a lot of pressure down. We're gonna register off the outfeed table and hopefully we can work the twist out of this. We got, I don't know how much, there's quite a bit of twist. I don't know, maybe about an eighth inch, three sixths. Put on hair protection, dust collector.
see where that is. I think that was three passes. So that was three passes. Then we got a nice flat board. Really nice. So that's that's it. How to take the twist out of the board on a joiner. Just to recap, not a lot of uh, pressure when you're jointing. Always register off the outfeed table. Even if there's a gap on the infeed table, you want to let that ride and Always register on the outfeed and don't let it, as you're moving it through, don't let it move on you. If you let it move halfway through, you're going to continue that twist into the final shape. Thanks for watching.